Okay, the third talk is by uh, Liu. The title is Revealing the Morphotrophic Phase Boundary in Ferroelectric uh, Copolymers. Thanks for the introduction. Can you hear me? Yeah. So my name is Yang Liu. I'm a postdoc working at the Penn State University. Uh, many thanks for the organizer for giving me this chance to present my recent result on revealing the morphotropic phase boundary in ferroelectric copolymer. Before I show you the result, let me first uh, introduce the people who are involved in this work. Uh, the experiment work was done by uh, Professor Qing Wang's group at Penn State. We have a strong theoretical cooperation with uh, Jerry's group, and his PhD student, Bing Zhang, mainly did the DFD calculation with us. So here is the outline for today's talk. I will give you a brief introduction to this field, to the polymer material, very electric polymer, and uh, I will show you the property and the structure uh, data uh, in PVDF, TIF, copolymer. Finally, is my con conclusion. So I think everybody here knows piezoelectric and piezoelectric material find, nowadays find many applications uh, from, uh, from ultrasound image and sensors and so on. So at least uh, two uh, commercialized uh, piezoelectric uh, uh, material. One is uh, well-known PZT ceramics with pyrosite structure. The piezoelectric coefficient is lowest, over 400, uh, while the other one is a uh, semi-crystalline PVDF polymer, uh, which exhibits the much smaller P DC3 value. The interest for uh, PVDF-based ferroelectric polymer is they are flexible, they are soft, and, uh, uh, and they show a uh, very significant, uh, significant larger piezoelectric voltage coffee, uh, constant, which is very, very important for design of uh, sensors. So PVDF based on the polymer is very complicated because uh, they are semi-crystal semi lines uh, in nature, and uh, uh, we have a crystallized phase and a muscle phase. And even for the crystalline phase, we have at least five different molecular structure or chain conformations. So for example, the ground state for PVDF is the alpha phase, which is a semi central symmetric, therefore uh, non-piezo. Uh, in order to achieve the highest piezoelectric performance, we always then uh, like to have the beta phase, which uh, can be uh, obtained after stretching and polling in a proper condition. So as a summary, according to the literature, the beta phase content determines, mainly determines the piezoelectric performance of PVDF. And the DC3 value is uh, in a range uh, of minus 30. In addition, we can also introduce TRFE unit to form a copolymer which can provide a, a mechanical free approach to naturally stabilize the beta phase. As you can see, the DC3 value remain low, uh, which, which is a key um, prevent uh, application of this polymer. So the question now is, uh, is there any molecular approach to significantly enhance the piezoelectricity of this polymer? Before we can answer this question, let's look at, look at the phase diagram of this material. Previous study mainly focused on the high VDF uh, uh, PVDF TRFE because at this region, we can have a high fraction uh, of the beta phase, therefore a high DC3 value. So other composition in this phase diagram was considered uh, no interest for piezoelectric applications 
because it was believed that the, as the VDF content decreases, uh, the beta phase becomes not stable, and it will, uh, the decrease of the beta phase fraction will lead to uh, the reduction of the piezoelectric performance. So uh, uh, as a result, there are quite a few studies devoted uh, to TRFE rich PVDF TRFE region. Uh, despite uh, over 40 years of studies, uh, the face, you see the phase diagram is not complete, which is uh, an open question in the field of ferroelectric polymer. And uh, the other question is, uh, uh, such the composition induce, induce the dis, uh, dis duration of uh, ferroelectric order always uh, induce the decrease the, of the dissociation of piezoelectric performance? We know the answer is no, because uh, there is a typical example in our uh, pyrosky counterpart uh, called the P PMNPT. Here is the phase diagram. We, I think we, everybody here knows. As the light heightened content decreases, the long-range ferroelectric order evolved into relaxer, which is mediated by a uh, morphotropic phase boundary region, at which uh, significant uh, uh, piezoelectric performance was uh, reported. So the morphotropic phase boundary is one of the most important concepts in our field in ferroelectric community. And uh, this uh, concept uh, frequently uh, appeared in the top uh, uh, journals, and uh, all these all this, uh, beautiful results were reported in the inorganic material. MPP concepts have never been achieved in any organic compound. So this is uh, another challenge in this field. So in order to answer and this, all these questions and uh, address this challenge, we decided to, I mean, revisit this problem and we synthesized PVDF TRFE copolymer with different compositions, uh, especially the TRFE rich and in, in the face diagram. So this work, this part was mainly done by Wen Han Xu, who is a chemical guy, and here is the, our experimental setup. After we got a PVDF TRFE copolymer powder, we fabricate the poly freestanding polymer film by solution casting method. So let us uh, have a look on the dielectric response as a function of VDF content. Let's look at the, uh, the right part of the diagram. At high VDF, we, show, we see a uh, uh, phase transition from ferroelectric to pyroelectric at the Curie temperature, which is ferroelectric. More, more interestingly, in the center of this diagram, we actually see the dielectric peak temperature deep, strongly depending on the frequency and it shifts significantly to higher temperature as the frequency increases. This is the relaxer-like behavior which was firstly observed. And the dielectric peak, time peak is becoming more broad as, as, uh, as VDF decreases further. Uh, uh, relaxer state is more stabilized. And we, we can also have a look on the P loop. At the right side is ferroelectric, and uh, this ferroelectric order can exist uh, above the critical con uh, VDF content of uh, nine, 49 mole molecular uh, molar percentage. And after that, the rem rem remnant position decreases significantly the uh, anti-ferroelectric-like uh, P loop and it's a relaxer. So what we actually have is we have observed very similar behavior between PVDF TRFE and uh, PMMPT. On the right side, they are both ferroelectric. On the left side, they are relaxers. And uh, there is, exists a uh, transition region at which both ferroelectric and, uh, and the short range relaxer orders they coexist and compete with each other. So MPB is a concept uh, can be can enable the enhancement of the dielectric and the piezoelectric uh, response, and that that is what we confirm. As the MPB region, we actually 
almost the double the double the piezoelectric performance. So we also have some other evidence. I mean, demonstrate the existence of intermediate region from the resonant rev, rev, uh, polarization as a function of VDF content and uh, lost tended theta from DMA measurement and from latent heat from DSC measurement. They all show that there exists a, of intermediate transition region. So in order to explain the observed formation of MPP-like region, we, on, on the basis of the previous work by Lavender, Furukawa, and the co-workers, we explain it, uh, it by the phase composition between trans conformation and uh, helical conformations. Uh, here is the lattice. We can see the the slope change. Uh, the, the slope change as uh, near the MPP region, which indicates the strong structure changes across this region. Uh, we we attribute the observed relaxer behavior. Uh, to the disorder, the helix conformation. Here is the, the local, local disorder may contribute to the, to the relaxer disorder. So the FTRR spectrum provides further support uh, of the conformation evolution from all trans to, to helix. So he, here is the update the updated the uh, phase diagram of PVD FTRFE, and we can see the uh, from the right to left, the ordered trans is evolving to into disordered helix, which is mediated by a MPP-like region, and uh, in, within this region, both order coexist and com compete with each other. That's why that's why uh, that is one main region reason why we can enhance the piezoelectric performance. Again, it's very similar to PM and PT. So in order to gain more insight, we address the chirality introduced by TRFE, TRFE unit, different from VDF. So TRFE is actually chiral. So the, uh, the arrangement of the chiral center can lead to uh, different chain tacticity. For example, the the stereotactic uh, type or isotactic type, and we can map out the chain toxicity by NMR spectral, and here is the result, one of the result. Uh, as we can see as the VDF content decrease, the system, the chain toxicity evolved from stereotactic to to isotactic and we see significant change near the MPV region. Based on the, this result, uh, Bing Zhang did the DFD calculations, and he demonstrated that the, the such switch of the chain toxicity can significantly modify the ground state of PVD FTRFE. And uh, he, he, got the, uh, he, he, he showed us that uh, the helix may, may be more stable uh, in the isotactic, uh, uh, with the isotactic uh, uh, arrangement of uh, chiral center, and uh, that that's explained so why the overtropic phase boundary like region form in in our system. So finally, is our uh, conclusion. Uh, we discover uh, PVDF TRFE is a new relaxer. Uh, and uh, we, we achieved uh, uh, MPP-like behavior in polymer material, and we anticipate that this phenomenon, uh, not, I mean, this study, this finding, not only widening the understanding of uh, uh, MPP-like re MPP concept, also maybe a general phenomenon can exist the other polymer, which can be useful to search for high-performance uh, piezoelectric polymer. So here is uh, uh, more information can be found in this reference, and uh, Professor Cohen also wrote a view on the, our uh, article. With that's all. Thank you for your attention. Interesting talk. Uh, any questions?
you back? Oh, sorry. Could you go back to your slide where you showed uh, near the MPB how the uh, piezoelectricity electricity was changing with your composition? I was just curious to see how that looked again. All right, so that's a pretty big crease. Okay. Yeah. And have you uh, looked at other polymer systems in which this uh, occurs, or is this the first one? Uh, this is the first uh, one. I mean, we we look for look at copolymer, and we are lo uh, also looking at the ter polymer, which have three element. Um, okay. For example, PVD, FTRF, uh, CTF. Uh, they also my colleague showed that they also have similar behavior enhancement. We can turn the uh, piezoelectric activity using, using this method. OK. Any questions from the audience? No? Ron? Is it possible to do like neutron scattering on these systems, or has that been done? Uh, yes. Uh, I think uh, I think it's durable, but uh, this this uh, polymer is semi crystallized The crystallinity is uh, about uh, fifty, so that uh, is uh, one problem. We cannot uh, have a single crystal. Yeah, it's always a uh, uh, polar crystallized structure and also have amorphous uh, background. That is one. I mean, uh, key. I mean, element, we cannot uh, refer the structure using the traditional method we use uh, in, I mean, uh, in perovskite structure, yeah. The oh, neutron a, a follow-up. I mean, how, and, and the results you are showing, how reproducible are they between uh, different samples? Mm, what do we mean reproducible? Well, like your curve here, like if you make a new sample, will it? Yeah, I mean, this, this trend is a, uh, 100% uh, can be reproducible, but uh, we need to, I mean, uh, get the optimized uh, 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 condition. Yeah, the, this trend, as the MPB region, this enhancement is always, uh, I mean, I observed. Know, it, uh, quantitatively. Yeah, quant quantitatively, it's very, I mean, to be honest, it's very, uh, it's not easy to get this position because you see even one, one percentage change can lead a uh, significant job. And this is, uh, I mean, very, very, I mean, difficult. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? Maybe the next speaker can set up then. And let's thank this speaker one more time. Yeah.